In this video, let's talk about how to upgrade your NVIDIA cards the easy way. Welcome back, my name is Seth Estrada. It's great to see you back. If you're watching this video, you're probably on my YouTube channel, Seth Estrada, or you're on Library, or you're on BitTubers.com. Huge thanks to MindYou.biz for sponsoring this episode. Now you're familiar with the concept of doing a VBIOS reflash on AMD cards. It's kind of just par for the course. If you want to get really good performance out of a Polaris card, shoot, even out of the older uh, Hawaiian Islands cards, the older architectures from AMD, you had to reflash the VBIOS. Now in the older days, that meant actually getting down and dirty with a hex code editor, a hex editor to edit the VBIOS one string at a time. And then with Polaris, it meant using Polaris BIOS editor. But for NVIDIA, this hasn't really been a very common thing until it became more common to use a tool called NV Flash. Now on Windows, you can use that. It's a command line interface tool, but I'm gonna show you the easy way because we don't wanna spend 20 minutes doing what should literally only take you 20 seconds to do. None of what we talk about in this show is meant to be advice, so do your own research. However, this tutorial, we're going to show you how to flash a VBIOS for NVIDIA. But when we talk about price action, when we talk about what to mine, you've got to do your own research. What I've done here is I'm going to use the NVIDIA P104 by Gigabyte. And Gigabyte, the P104, it's based on, based on the GTX 1070 compute core. And I'm going to show you the specs right here. Here's Gigabyte's website. 1920 CUDA cores on the 16 nanometer process. It's very similar to a GTX 1070, not quite a 1070 Ti or 1080. And then four gigs of GDDR5X memory. So it's pretty darn cool. Uh, it has great performance for Ethereum mining, actually better than a GTX 1080. Um, unless you're able to use the enlargement pill on the GTX 1080. The stock, however, you're going to do better with the P104 because you have those really fast memory timings. In fact, the enlargement pill, all it does is it takes the timings from this card. So we, we've known that for a while now, um, but then potentially also does some other stuff that we don't know about. So the P104, the best way to get the best numbers, the most accurate numbers for this are to plug in, instead of doing a couple of 1070s, to put in a couple of 1080s and then to adjust your ETH hash numbers or anything else that you've already done your own tests with accordingly. I'm just going to adjust the dagger Hashimoto numbers here because you're going to get about 42 mega hashes per card um, easily. That's that's without trying too hard. You're going to get 42 mega hashes per card. But we have to make sure all the other numbers line up. MTPs, for example, are doable if we have more memory. So right now with Gigabyte showing only four gigabytes, uh, the Gigabyte brand only showing four gigabytes of memory on the P104 Mining Edition card, we want to try to increase that. Let me show you. I've got my Hive OS dashboard open. I'm going to show you the overview of this machine. This is my test bench, and I'm using Hive OS right here. Spoiler alert, this is the secret weapon. It's going to take me a couple minutes to get to where we're trying to go. If you want to skip ahead in the video, fine, I won't be offended, but this is this is kind of uh, giving you some of the foundation. Using a typical Celeron CPU for this build, it's not a very fancy machine. See right here, there you go, dual, dual core Celeron G3930. Love the G3930, really great device to start with. And then running it off of USB, just a little SanDisk Ultra, and I ran the expand disk command upon first boot with HiveOS. So now it shows all 16 gigs. Now it also has an NVMe drive because this dual boots into Windows. That's right. When this is not otherwise being used as a mining test bench, I use it for Celeron gaming for my kids because believe it or not, we're going to have to show this in another video, but believe it or not, an Intel Celeron G3930 can run. Seriously, I needed to get like a gong button right now or like a womp womp sound effect because my kids like Fortnite, but they also like Team Fortress 2 and some other games. Fortnite actually runs at full frame rate in 4K on a Celeron because it's very optimized for the GPU. So we use a, either a GTX 1060 or we use a Polaris Edition card, like a 580 8 gig card for their gaming depending on what whatever's handy and we just swap in there for when they're gaming so we have drivers loaded up for both of those but that's why i've got that nvme drive because that affects performance way faster than anything else as you know so that's the test bench right now we got the asrock h110 um and in fact nope that's not right this is not the h110 that that's what the test bench was i've got them on the strix you see it right there h270f rogue strix brand from asus 
It's a reasonably fast motherboard, but it doesn't have a whole lot of PCI Express support, which is why I use it as a test bench and now the gaming system for the kids. But that's the test bench. You can see right now I've got my current flight sheet deactivated, so nothing is running, but I do have fans set by default to run at 80%. I can change that down the line. I don't need to because I don't run HiveOS that often on this machine, but I've got Ethereum and Tube. So the CPU, when I do have this thing mining, I, I love to see how CPU mining affects GPU performance. So I generally have a flight sheet set up in HiveOS. Super easy to do if you watch my official tutorials on HiveOS. Very easy to have a CPU coin running while you have a GPU coin running and even to segment your NVIDIA and your AMD GPUs onto different coins if you so choose. But we've got two P104s and you see right here, one of them right there, it shows four gigabytes. And then the second one shows eight gigabytes they are the same model card. They're both the Gigabyte P104 100, but they came with only four gigs of VRAM. What I did was I, I already flashed this one, and now we're going to flash the other one live, and it's so easy. I just go to the overclocking tab. First things first, though, I did, uh, before flashing a vBIOS, I already downloaded the vBIOS of the card that I wanted to get. If I were doing this for the first time, I would click on download vBIOS and then go to GPU ID 0, and I could either save it to my farm storage or I could click on download and the updates would provide me a link right in this area, in the notification area, provide me a link, a direct link to where that's being stored on HiveOS's servers so that I could download that to my local storage and keep that for my records down the line if I wanted to flash it back to stock. This is the way that you get yourself out of a sticky situation on HiveOS and it couldn't be easier. I've already done that. You should do that if, you, if you're getting started on this process. But we're just going to go to Flash vBIOS. I'm going to select the card. There we go. I can tell very easily, even though it says right there, tells me the PCI bus order might not be the same as I expect, but I can see right there very clearly, this is my four gig card. So I'm going to choose that. I'm actually going to choose force flashing, and I'm going to use this ROM file that I've already got customized. Open it up. There it is, P104-100. 8 gigabyte unlocked ROM. Now click on upload. It's going to send the MV flash command over Ubuntu Linux, which is what HiveOS is based on. All of the mining OSs are based on Ubuntu. Nobody's gone with, with a Red Hat compatible version of Linux yet, despite me asking. It's okay. We might not ever get there because Ubuntu is very well supported and very easy to work with, uh, but there's not going to be any crossover between enterprise Linux and this. All right, you see that. While I've been kind of droning on about different versions of Linux, it says ROM flashing OK. Now reboot. What I'm going to do instead of just rebooting is I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to push a command right here, and it tells me that I've already used all these commands right here. I'm just going to tell it to sudo reboot because that's easier. Um, if I were over near the computer, if I have it, or if I had it hooked up to my KVM switch, I would log into that device, and from the command line, I would type in the two words sudo reboot, and that would force HiveOS to reboot instantaneously. Once that command is reached, uh, has reached over to that test bench, it's going to get it to reboot right away. Just refresh the page and we'll get a sense. Mm, well, I sent the command. But through the magic of editing, I'll come back once we know this thing has been rebooted. Bada bing, we see right over here to my right that both of these devices show that they are 8 gig devices. That, dear friends, is the easy way to reflash your NVIDIA cards to an upgraded vBIOS. Don't just go downloading and flashing the first vBIOS that you find on any old corner of the internet. You may well run into something that is dangerous or even contains malware. Apparently, the memory segment of NVIDIA cards or the memory of NVIDIA cards that is used for the vBIOS to cache the vBIOS is large enough that it can contain a few lines of malicious code that can wreak havoc on your system. So don't just go downloading and flashing whatever you find first that promises to give you eight gigs and don't just go taking it from whomever. So why would you wanna do this? That's the big question. And let me show you a couple of reasons why. Going back over to what to mine really fast, again, this is not advice, but when you see for the seven day uh, average of profitability, you see, actually, Zcoin has been kind of high on the list. Now, it's not super profitable for just these two cards that I have on this test bench right now, but it's profitable 
the tiniest little bit, and it's profitable to the tune of not much less than Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. Now, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, they still are at the top of the list. They're 150% of the profit of Zcoin, but Zcoin, being a privacy-oriented coin, you can mint new Zcoin for yourself by mining it. That's a pretty cool value proposition. Um, nice hash, of course, there's a lot of profit there, but then you contribute to the potential for serious 51% attacks. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, but my point is, as far as privacy coins go, you've got some options there. Uh, Rio currency, Rio coin currency, you can contribute to as well, but not at a very high profit. Beam, unfortunately, not very profitable. Zelle hash or Zelle, unfortunately, not very profitable. Uh, same with Swap and Grin. Any other privacy-oriented coins, at least at 10 cent power, you're not going to get a whole lot of profit there. And that's just a rough average. You may do better, you may do worse than 10 cent power. But at 10 cent power, Zcoin has been profitable for a week. That's amazing. But Zcoin, Merkle Tree proofs, you cannot mine with only four gigs of VRAM on your card. Unless something massive has changed at on the miner, the software side, that's just not possible. So if we go back over to our test bench here and actually create a new flight sheet for Zcoin and add Asia. So I have some fallback servers and there we go. And for my miner, I've got a couple different options right there. And there you have it. CC miner is up and running. MTPs are working at 3.9. So I've got to do some optimization there. But for sight unseen, just clicking one button to create a flight sheet, I'm happy that that is running right away. It was literally impossible before doing the 4 gig to 8 gig reflash of this VBIOS. So testing it, of course, you test it, you optimize it. Let me know down in the comments. Have you been able to use NV Flash, whether on Windows or on Linux or on some other mining OS? You can install this package no matter what mining OS you use. It's just, as you can see, very easy to use on HiveOS. Uh, check link in the description to get yourself a $10 credit on HiveOS or just use the referral code MINEYOURBIZ, all caps, to get $10 credited towards your account. That's my gift to you. The HiveOS team was very generous to me last year and uh, into 2018. So it's the least I can do for the community. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking the subscribe button, hitting the bell icon so you're notified when new videos like this come out. Thank you for checking out Miner.biz to see what they have listed over there for miners like you and me. You're the reason I make this media. I love your face and I will see you in the next one.